greetings from Hilo, Hawaii. I'm retired, but I went down to the Komahana Research and Extension Center to pick up my mail. And there waiting for me was a big envelope from Purdue University. I shook it. What could it possibly be? Inside was a smaller brown envelope from Professor Jules Janik of Purdue University. It contained seeds of adagio arugula. <laughs> Professor Janik was one of the breeders who developed this arugula variety. He was interested to see how it would grow with our suspended pot, non-circulating hydroponic method. And I thought that was a good idea. So I planted the arugula seed in the seedling box and it germinated very nicely. A small plastic tank is partially filled with water. Fertilizer Stock Solution A contains Hydro Gardens 81536 plus magnesium sulfate. Four ounces of the stock solution are placed in each of the two tanks that we are going to grow the arugula in. Fertilizer Stock Solution B contains solution grade calcium nitrate. Four ounces of stock solution B are added to each of the two growing tanks. Then the tanks are filled to about three quarters from the top with water. Fiberglass window screens are placed over the tanks. The screen is pushed into the tank with this frame. The primary purpose of the screen is for mosquito control, but we also find that roots grow more vigorously when there's a screen. An extruded polystyrene cover is placed on the tank. Two inch net pots are placed in the openings of the cover. Then one week old arugula seedlings are transplanted into the net pots. The first tank has one seedling per net pot, and the second tank has two seedlings per net pot. No additional effort is needed until harvest time. No more fertilizer is needed, and hopefully no more water will be needed, but check the tanks in the final two weeks before harvest, just in case. Pumps or other mechanical devices are not needed. Electrical power is not needed. At two weeks after transplanting, the plants are about two inches in diameter, which is the same size as the top of the net pots. The tank on the right has one plant per net pot, and the tank on the left has two plants per net pot. It's three weeks after transplanting, and the plants are growing. This is four weeks after transplanting. At five weeks after transplanting, there's considerable variation amongst plants, ranging from a scrawny little plant to some very vigorous plants. At 38 days after transplanting at about 11 a.m. on a hot sunny morning, lettuce plants on the right wilted from the extreme transpiration conditions, but the arugula plants remain normal. And this means that arugula is very well suited for this hydroponic method. At 39 days after transplanting, it's arugula tour time. Passing down the left side of the tank with two plants per net pot, we encounter extreme lush green growth conditions. And passing down the right side, the arugula continues to look great. But, whoa, the first four plants in the right tank look stressed. But the back four plants look just fine. I really don't know the reason for this. Here's another view of the left tank and the right tank. For this trial, I will cut the white stem about one quarter to one half inch below the rosette of leaves. It's six weeks after transplanting and the arugula plants are being cut with a scissors. This is the left tank and there are six net pots with two plants and two net pots with only one plant. And now to the right tank where there is only one plant per net pot. These plants seem quite a bit smaller. 
So how does an old guy like me work so fast? Well, I speeded up the film by 50%. The freshly cut arugula was weighed. 0.03 kilograms equals 30 grams. 0.07 kilograms equals 70 grams, or 40 grams for the second plant from one net pot. In this case, we have 50 grams from the first plant and 70 grams from the second plant to give a total of 120 grams for the two plants from the same net pot. The highest weight from one plant in this trial was 120 grams. The lowest yield was only 10 grams from one plant, but the second plant from the same net pot weighed 50 grams. The yields in the tank with one plant per net pot were 60, 80, 50, and 90 grams per plant in the back half of the tank and only 40, 35, 30, and 10 grams in the front half of the tank for an average of 49 grams per plant. In the tank with two plants per net pot, the yield per net pot was 40 plus 30 or 70 grams, 120 grams, 50 plus 70 grams or 120 grams, 10 plus 50 grams or 60 grams in the back half of the tank, and 35, 70, 70, and 100 grams per net pot in the front half of the tank, and the average per net pot was 81 grams. Here was a nice big basket of arugula from the two tanks. It was soaked in the sink for a while, and then placed in a bowl and refrigerated. We had some pretty flavorful meals the next few days. Let's lift the cover of the tank and take a look at the roots. There's pretty substantial root growth, and the roots look nice and healthy. Other growers have reported that arugula can regrow after cutting, but I cut the stems too low and no regrowth occurred in this case. As you have observed, there was considerable variability amongst plants in this trial, but uniformity might be improved by growing more seedlings so that uniform seedlings could be selected for transplanting. Let's talk a little bit about arugula. The scientific name of arugula is Eruca sativa, and it's in the Brassica Aceae family. In England, arugula is known as rocket. In France, it's known as roquette. And in Italy, it's known as rucola or rugheda. Arugula has a distinct peppery, spicy, pungent flavor. It is consumed as a salad green and is usually mixed in with other greens such as lettuce. It will add extra zing when added as a pizza topping or in pasta, in sandwiches, in lasagna, and wherever your imagination will take you. Since I had so much arugula, I gave some to several people. One person reported that arugula adds zing and a refreshing taste to various dishes, but it's not overbearing. Another person reported that arugula has a nutty flavor and was somewhere between mild and strong flavored. If arugula is cooked, it should only be slightly cooked and definitely not overcooked. There is a very informative 2006 Hort Science Journal article on Adagio, a slow bolting arugula by Morales, Maynard, and Janik. Adagio refers to slow tempo in Italian, sort of like my harvesting speed. This variety was named Adagio because it is slow to bolt. That means it remains in the vegetative growth stage longer than many arugula varieties before the growth is transformed to send up a primary stem and produce flowers and seeds. Well, folks, there's a lot more to learn about arugula, but for now, I bid you aloha.